Hey everyone, so today we're gonna to look at some uh, tricks within Google Slides. If you do not use Google Slides, I highly recommend checking it out. It's just like PowerPoint, uh, but it's Google-based, which means that it has awesome collaboration features, the ability to embed onto web pages, as well as stored in the cloud, so you can access it from anywhere. Um, so I'm just gonna show you three kind of fun Google Slides tricks. So I have my basic one here. I, I wrote my name, I said, hi, my name is Ryan. I put in this awesome font. I loved how it looked in this one, but now I wanna take this object right here and transfer it to a different presentation. Now, if I just click on it and I hold and I copy, and I come over here and I try to paste, it pastes, but it doesn't copy the whole thing. It does not copy all my formatting and everything. So the first trick that we're gonna learn is if you click on any area or if you just click on the whole slide, you go up to edit, you go to web clipboard, and you click copy shape to web clipboard. Now when I go to my new presentation, I click edit, web clipboard, I choose my shape, paste the shapes, and there you go. All my editing is there. I might just have to change like my justification, but I don't have to go back through and do everything over and over and over again. So if you have like a certain slide that you use to share your objectives every single day or share your students, um, you know, rubrics, I recommend trying out the web clipboard. It's pretty fun. Um, so the second one is inserting pictures. If you go to insert and you go to image, you have options to upload, you can take a snapshot, you can insert from a URL, you have access to um, your drive if you have any full, uh, pictures files in there. But the one that I've been showing all my kids is if you click on search, you can actually search Google images from within here. And the cool part is, is it filters out a lot of the images that students don't have the rights to use. So if I just write in dogs and click search, all these images are totally cool. They're labeled for commercial reuse without mod or with modification. So I can use any of these. And I also can, from this area, search the life photo library. And then also this stock photo library. So again, instead of having them just go on Google images and randomly search and hope that they find something, I'd recommend doing it in here. It also cuts down on the amount of windows that the kids have to have open. So I'm just gonna choose this picture. Ah, this picture, I like that dog better. Hit select and it inserts right in there. So the last little trick that I'm gonna show you is kind of a design trick because if I change the font here and make it the same color as the background, I can't see it at all. So I'm gonna click on the box. I'm gonna move this just a little bit higher. And now over here, we all know how to change the text color. Over here though, I'm gonna change the fill color. Now I can choose a solid color and choose like white. It looks pretty good, um, but I kind of want to get this cool like transparent look going. So I'm going to click fill color again, go down to custom, and then this slider over here, I can move up and down and actually change the transparency of my background. So if you take like our image here and you type dog on top, but it kind of blends in, it's kind of difficult to see. Again, I could click on fill. I could just go directly to custom. Slide it all the way down, make it white. You can make it whatever color you want. Slide down the transparency just a little, hit okay. And now it's a lot easier to read. Uh, if you've ever used Haiku Deck, this is the same type of look that a Haiku Deck has. So it's another way to duplicate what Haiku Deck does without having to have the kids use it and use Google Slides which a majority of them know. So there you go. Three fun little tricks to Google Slides. Uh, if you have any questions or do anything really cool with it, of course, please let me know.